Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning back in. And it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I've just uh, kind of been sidetracked with uh, projects and, and what have you. But I want to show you what I've been working on recently. Uh, and I'm not going to show you the build of this because I started to film this. And it was mainly just me doing a lot of head scratching and trying to figure out what I wanted to accomplish. What this is, this is a jet mini lathe. And it had a half horsepower uh, AC motor. Just a normal uh, head of run capacitor AC motor, uh, 120 volts, and I swapped that out. I got tired of the six pulley changes. There is there were six steps in order to get all the speeds, and I'll show you right here. Now you can see 500, 840, 1240, 18, 26, 30, and 39, at high speed. And I got really tired of having to change. Every time I wanted to do something, if you were sanding a pin blank, you need to be at the slowest speed. And if you wanted to, you know, really get a good a good cut on a acrylic blank, you needed to be at high speed. So it's it's really kind of difficult on these lathes to do that. And here's my uh, answer for that. This is a two point what is it? Two point seven five horsepower. 2.5 it's a 2.5 horsepower just a variable DC motor it's just a it's a it's a DC motor and how I'm able to use this what happens I've just powered this with house current or house power just you know like normal and then I've used a treadmill uh, silicon controlled rectifier which is what this is and then it go you know you have an inductor you have a 10k potentiometer right here and I hope this isn't too shaky I'm using a a GoPro and that it's an old one so they don't really do well when I'm, when you're holding them in your hands but this uh silicone controlled rectifier does not have the the pods where you can adjust the low and the high RPMs so my answer for that was I just uh I just used some CA glue and I cut a pin up and I just I stopped it right here you can see that that's just so I can't, uh, won't go past the capabilities of my lathe. This motor will go over 6,000 RPMs. My lathe is uh, probably, you know, rated for 4,000. I don't know. So I had to make a stop. And the way I knew what I was dealing with here, this little piece of reflective tape, and you can buy these cheap, these cheap little eyes, and I'll get it. I'm, I don't have enough hands here, but one second. Okay, so you can you can buy these uh, digital tachometers, and I took the battery out, but uh, they take a nine volt battery, and you just shine it on that, and hold the test button down, and it'll tell you how fast they're running. And just quickly, I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this better and a little bit neater. But real quickly, I just I had to get back into turning some stuff here soon, so I just had wrote down some numbers. Since the motor will do six six thousand RPMs plus, I had to make a stop. And my lathe, uh, I think the highest speed was 3950, so that's what I that's what I did. I put it at 3950. It's probably kind of hard to read, but anyway, that's uh, that's that. And uh, it's real easy. It's treadmill parts. So if you know if you can get a treadmill, man, do that because you can really use the motors. And right now, I'm going to give you a demo uh, of this in use. And you just want to make sure that you're in the off position, obviously because you don't want to surge all the electricity. If you had this cranked up and you turn this on, it would hit it so hard that the brushes inside the motors would arc really, they'd arc real hard and it's just hard on everything. So make sure this is off. And I, I've hardwired it in with the switch and everything. You, need, you know, it's, it's not difficult, but if you need a little bit of electricity know-how, I guess. So the red light says that I'm on. We're going to dial this up to 500 RPMs, right there. And this would be a good speed for sanding a pin blank or a turn to various turnings, applying CA glue. Let's go to 930. That might be a little bit faster than 930. Okay, let's take it all the way to 2600. And 
And back to off. As you can see, it, it works well, and I won't have to be changing any pulleys. And if you if you want to do this, I say go for it. It's real easy to take the old motor off. There's almost nothing to it. It's two bolts, and one of them is actually the one you, you use to loosen it to change your pulleys. So it's there's nothing to that. The hardest part was making these blocks. I had to get these just exactly right based on the size of my motor. And I actually probably have a one to two degree cant on this belt. But I did that because I thought, you know, over time, you know, there, there would be, uh, this wood was outside. So I thought there might be some shrinkage and it would allow, it would allow a little bit of a, of an adjustment. But we'll see. And, and if it needs to be changed, the only problem with this setup, hard block like this, I can't easily detension my belt. And that is a problem. But that would be real simple if you want I just didn't want to I wasn't about to drill any holes or uh, make any kind of adjustment to the bed of the of, the, of this so I, you know it, it is what it is but this works great that's all this was just CA glued together I mean it, I threw this together in about 45 minutes my little uh, little angle I, at first I had this laid down flat I couldn't see what I was doing so I just made a little uh, tailpiece back here so I could if it angled up so I could see what I was doing but yeah that's it it's uh, just the motor, the silicone control rectifier, the inductor, and a 10K potentiometer. That's all you need. And it, these old school silicone controlled rectifiers have a high, a low, and a W, which means wiper. And you just use, you know, your wiper goes in the middle of a, right there, of your pot. And in my case, I just use black for low and red for high. It doesn't matter, the, you know, of course the color doesn't matter, but you just have to know which one's which. If you get these backwards and you put the power on, you will slam this with as fast as it will go. And, and that's, it's unnerving and I've done it. So be careful. Start slow. You might uh, flip your switch on, wait to see what happens. And if it starts, if it slams it and you know this is turned off and it, it starts, it'll, it'll just arc and blow fire out the back end of this motor. It's 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 not great, but anyway, that's a quick little little video of a uh, of converting a jet mini lathe to infinite variable speed. Thanks for watching.